Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I have for you a fun Halloween pumpkin topper. For this DIY, you're going to need a pumpkin, and I picked up these two pumpkins at Lowe's. They were $19.98 each. They're lightweight, they do light up, and they're just a plastic material, so both of them came from Lowe's. You can use whatever kind of pumpkin that you would like, but it works out better if you have a pumpkin that has a stem up at the top that sticks up. And so here's just some of the cute things I have to put on my topper. I have some cute bats, spiders, eyeballs, pumpkins, ghost, cute little hat, ribbon, but you're going to need some foam. And I picked up these um, circle pieces of foam at Dollar Tree. So you're only going to need one. It comes in a two pack. But first I had to tie a Halloween bow and I just uploaded the bow tutorial. So if you've already seen that, I'll leave on the screen where you can skip on down and skip this tutorial to go on to the next part. For this bow, you're going to need three different colors of ribbon and they need to be 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. So with your first color, you're going to cut three strips at 24 inches. With your second color, you're only going to cut two strips at 24 inches. You will want to use ribbon with wire because the loops will just stand up, the bow will hold its shape, and it's just easier to work with. So I have five strips so far cut. So now I'm going to use my third color and I am going to cut two strips at 24 inches with my third color. So I will have a total of seven strips cut at 24 inches for this Halloween bow. This is such a simple bow to make and it really looks pretty on all kinds of craft projects. So here's my seven strips cut at 24 inches. And you can make this bow for any season or holiday or whatever craft project you're working on. This one's just going on my little pumpkin topper. And you're also going to need a zip tie. So with your first strip, you're going to take your strip of ribbon and you're going to go about a third, fold it about a third of the way down, pinch it together, leave a little bit of ribbon below your fingers. So this is about a four inch loop. Keep it pinched in your left hand. Take your second strip of ribbon, I'm using another color going to fold it about a third of the way down, going to make about a four inch loop, pinch it together, leaving a little bit of ribbon below my fingers, add it to my first loop. Now I'm going to get my third color, same steps. Going to take my strip of ribbon, fold it about a third of the way down, pinch it together, and add it to my left hand. And I'm going to do the same thing with all seven strips. Now I'm going to take my zip tie, go just above my fingers, and zip tie my ribbon together. Make sure you get your zip tie nice and tight. Then I'm just trimming the extra part of the zip tie shorter. Then we're going to dovetail the ends. So fold your tail, the end in half with the edges to the left side. Go to the folded side, cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V on the ends and it just kind of dresses up your bow or you can just cut the ends at a slant whichever way you prefer. Ooh. 
Now we're going to fluff and shape our bow, and I like to start with the tails, so just kind of spread them out, just fan the tails out in all directions, and then we're going to fluff and shape the loops of our bow, and I like to just kind of stick my hand in each loop and kind of open up the loop. Sometimes you have to play with your bow for just a little while to get it shaped just like you want. When I put the bow on top of the pumpkin, the tails were just a little bit too long, so I did have to go back and trim my tails shorter for this DIY. So this is how the bow looks when you get it all fluffed and shaped. I just love the fun colors. So next, we are going to start working on making our little topper with the pretty flowers, cute spiders, and all that fun stuff too. Just remember that this pumpkin is pretty tall, so that's why I made a big bow for it. And then we just cut the center out of the foam, and that way I can, when I get it finished, I can hot glue it onto the top. Okay, so now I'm going to take a bunch of Halloween picks that I picked up at Dollar Tree, and I am going to just cut them into shorter pieces, put a little hot glue on the end, and push it into the foam, and just fill this up and make it all fun and decorative for Halloween.
I ended up adding another one of those little purple swirly picks like the orange one I don't know what it's called twirly picks and then around the bottom edge of the foam I filled in with some leaves and some flowers around the back that way that you cannot see the foam so just fill it in and have fun with it and then I did hot glue a few spiders on so this is the way it looks when I just slid it on over the top I just wanted to you know take it off look at it see how I liked it what I need to add what I need to take away and then to add the bow I just took the one of the wires, threaded it in the circle of the foam, then went to the back and gave the wires a few twists. So I just twisted my bow on so it's easily attached and then just add a bunch of Gorilla Glue hot glue and glue your little pumpkin topper onto your pumpkin. You may have to fluff and shape your bow again and do like I did and trim the tails shorter and I just kind of crinkled the tails a little bit. Now here I don't have the purple pick added on the right, but I just thought it needed that pick on the right just to kind of balance it out since I did make a pretty big bow. You'll have to let me know your thoughts. I hope everyone's doing great. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this tutorial, and if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for the sweet comments that y'all leave on my tutorials and my shop with me videos. I really appreciate it.